Is Spanish PM Rajoy shooting himself in the foot by treating his electorate like children? Our Breaking Views editor Hugo Dixon, who's just returned from Madrid, he joins me now. Good to have you back, Hugo. It seems, when, when I talk, well, I've talked to you about this, and it seems you like what you're seeing from Rajoy. Mm. Um, in terms of policies so far, but there is this worry that he hasn't been up front enough. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he, definitely he's, you know, say, I don't know, 80% in terms of substance doing the right things. Labour reform is very good. You know, that's actually restoring the competitiveness of Spanish industry. Uh, you've got this crackdown on the regions which have been mm -hmm. profligate and spending too much. That's important. He's probably going to come up with some significant reforms of the welfare state, yep. health, education. I mean, these are all things that are really mm -hmm. very important. But but he hasn't been telling people what he's saying. Not only has he not yeah. been telling people, well, he's actually been saying he's not going to do well, things that he then subsequently goes to do. Pre the election. Well, I mean, he needs to get in first. Well, right? that's right. Well, that's a, that is, of course, the real politique approach, is you say, well, don't worry about the electorate, treat them like kids, don't tell them the truth or only tell them part of the truth. Mm. And then um, everything, just get into power and then do what you need to do. Um, but we had, and, and what we've had, we've had two, we've had the main election, yeah. which was uh, the general election in, in, in November, um, where he said he wasn't going to raise taxes, he said he wasn't going to reform the welfare state, he said he wasn't going to make it cheaper to fire people. Well, he's... And it's pretty much all happened now, right? Well, apart from, I mean, the welfare state we think we're going to have, have, we're going to have in the next of, month. Yeah, That's yeah, going to be, yeah. we, we've had one blast of reforms, and then we've got another blast of reforms which is coming up. And the reason why he's waited for the second blast of reforms is because mm. of this second election, which is only the regional election in Andalusia, but it is the biggest region in Spain and his party, the PP, the Popular Party, the yep. Conservative Party, they've never had this um, region. And so what, again, he's holding back on this next blast of reforms, which again... But, but, but the electorate are giving him the benefit of the doubt, it seems. Well, they're in terms of his handling of them. I mean, I, talk, I talked in the intro there about uh, shooting himself in the foot. I mean, could he shoot himself in the foot? I mean, in the short run, he's not shooting himself in the foot. And you say they're giving him the benefit of the doubt. The electorate is giving the benefit of the doubt. But that's partly, it's largely because the socialists who were running the government are totally discredited. So there is no effective opposition. And even the trade unions who are calling a general strike for um, in about uh, 10 days' time, mm -hmm. I mean, they, that doesn't look like that's going to get anywhere either. But my concern is not so much the short run, but the long run, which is because although, um, as you say, they're giving him the benefit of the doubt, his approval rating is not very high. Yep. It's in the mid-30s. That's right. Um, it's, uh, and, the, and most Spanish people feel that they are not represented by any politicians. Mm, mm, mm. And you remember we had the indignado phenomenon last year when hundreds of thousands of people went out on the street to complain. They were indignant, angry with what was going on. So, so let, let's, I want to finish out with a little bit of anecdotal flavour. I mean, you, you spent a few days there. You've yep. got a lot of friends in Madrid. Um, what, what's the sense you're getting from them now? Uh, I mean, how long has he been in power now? What is it? Well, it's uh, about three months Okay, now. three months. So, so not what, 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 what is the sense now? Okay, because the, 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 the spin seems to be more positive than negative here. Well, the substance is positive. I mean, people, even supporters of Rajoy, they think that he's a terrible communicator. He doesn't have charisma. So, but they think he's straight. Yeah. Um, substance there, people, people are happy, but even members of his party or general supporters, they're unhappy with the fact that he's not, he's been treating them like kids. Mm -hmm. And just to say why that's bad is that say in two years time, the economy is supposed to shrink this year, say it and stabilize next year, say it shrinks again next year, and they have to have another dose of austerity, then you could be into a situation where someone who's lost the trust of the people is having to impose yep. extra measures and then you could have a tantrum and you could be into a small version of the sort of what we've been seeing in places like Greece. All right, Hugo, many thanks for that. Uh, join us every Monday for a discussion of Hugo's political economy column. I'm Axel Throffel. This is Reuters.